Hey guys, welcome to my garden. Before you plant sweet potatoes in your garden, uh, please watch this video. As you can see in this video, I was simply uh, preparing the soil for planting other uh, crops, different crops other than sweet potatoes. As you can see, this is what I got during the tilling the soil tilling process a lot of a big a sweet potato tubers uh, came out from the soil so in other words when i was harvesting sweet potatoes uh, these sweet potatoes were left in the soil remember uh, this came out after i have already harvested sweet potatoes in my garden so in today's video i want you to know how invasive sweet potatoes are especially when they favors or prefers the following factors the first factor is simply the uh, temperatures uh, temperatures uh, varies uh, throughout the year but it might happen that the temperatures throughout uh, the year uh, favors the growth of sweet potatoes and another factor it can be the soil uh, type uh, these uh, two main factors can cause sweet potatoes to become invasive yes i do regret growing sweet potatoes in this part of my garden because now it is very very hard for me to get rid of uh, these sweet potatoes especially now that i have decided to grow a different crop other than uh, sweet potatoes after a period of about a week i came back look at what i found a lot of uh, tubers started producing what is known as sweet potato slips as you can see I tried my best to remove the left tubers. Some were buried a deep uh, down in the soil. And as I've said before, since our temperatures had never uh, reached below 20 degrees Celsius throughout the year, even during the winter season, and since our winters are above 20 degrees celsius that is warm enough to keep our seed potatoes are thriving and producing a lot of big sweet potato tubers so that is the main reason why i always have sweet potatoes in my garden they always come back and occupy the whole uh, part where I have planted them up before. So before uh, planting your sweet potatoes, you better decide if you're going to uh, deal uh, with what I'm dealing with uh, right now or use containers. This is the main reason why I now recommend using containers to grow sweet potatoes. The struggle is a uh, real. And the main reason why I wanted this part of my garden to be sweet potato free is because I had a different uh, crops in my mind uh, that I wanted to uh, grow. I wanted something different for a change. I wanted to grow okra and corn. Since this is the northern part of my garden and it receives a lot of sunlight during the autumn and winter season. So it was going to be the best part of my garden. Since it receives enough sunlight. Corn and okra and sweet potatoes, they are warm season crops. So 
if you are going to uh, plant these three crops uh, during the autumn and winter season you have to make sure that you plant them where they will receive enough sunlight So as you can see, I've been trying to get rid of this uh, sweet potatoes. They are very aggressive, you guys. They are very invasive. It's hard to get uh, rid of them because even... Even the tiny uh, roots, they also uh, grow and produces a lot of uh, sweet potato uh, slits that can soon uh, take over the whole garden. Look at all of that. So, this is how the garden, after a few weeks, after a period of about a month, this is how it looks. I did plant some corn and okra, but I think you can hardly see it. The sweet potato slips took over the whole garden. I doubt if the corn and the okra will still forge their way and uh, thrive in this condition. This is one of the most invasive uh, crops that we don't have to play with. Especially if you still want to grow different crops in that part of your garden. I think you should think about this. Before growing sweet potatoes in your garden, take this into high consideration. Some of these okra plants are no longer growing. Look at that one. They are no longer growing because they don't receive enough sunlight. And look at the sweet potatoes. They are producing roots. And soon they will be producing a lot of big uh, tubers again. So I am not discouraging you not to grow sweet potatoes, but I, this is what I want you to know, how invasive sweet potatoes can be. And what I've noticed, you can't uh, plant other crops near sweet potatoes. They simply uh, take over the whole garden. And you can tell that the okra plants are now struggling to forge their way uh, through they can't receive enough sunlight no space and nothing so now i believe that this part of my garden is now ruined i have ruined this part of my garden just by uh, planting a uh, sweet potatoes You can tell that on this side of my uh, garden, these sweet potatoes will also uh, take over uh, very soon. It will be like uh, this. You can tell that these okra plants are now suffocating. They are no longer receiving enough sunlight, 
no enough air anyway guys thanks a lot for watching uh, please like share and subscribe and please feel free to leave some comments in the description box uh, down below thanks for your support